guys and welcome back to my channel what a way to start off post summer tia taylor as you can tell from the title of this vlog this is my venice film festival vlog and i am starting this vlog from home because in fact venice film festival doesn't actually start at venice film festival but it starts months and months in advance so i actually just finished putting my last few things in the suitcase and tomorrow at like eight ish i'll catch the freccia rossa uh to go to venice i thought it could be interesting interesting to vlog about Venice in a in, in a way a bit different from last year last year it was just like hey look at what I've been up to this September I also went to Venice amongst other things but I thought it could be cool to go a bit more in depth and so I asked you guys on Instagram about all the things you wanted to know regarding Venice Film Festival and in this vlog I'm going to answer them this year I was fortunate enough to actually be invited by two different brands two different dates to Venice Film Festival so if you guys follow me on Instagram already you'll know that on the first I actually got to go to the opening ceremony of the Venice Film Festival with Moet. This is super cute and look okay you can't see it but let me open the window oh my gosh and it was amazing it was beautiful and it was really different from last year everyone told me that it would be but really the energy is just something else aside from you know being in the same room as the president of the Italian Republic there was just a lot of cool stuff going on. I'm really excited tomorrow though because we'll say that while the first day is more intense, I think that, you know, towards the end of the festival, those last few days are a bit more, I think, fun, a bit more laid back. And I had such a great time with Karistas last year that I'm excited to see, you know, what we have in store for this year. So yeah, I'm currently waiting for my dress to come. This dress for, um, Tomorrow is being custom made by Benjamino Belfiori. He does custom couture dresses. And he also does like, he also has his own line that's not custom, but he's known for his custom dresses that you see on the red carpet every once in a while here in Venice. So I'm super excited to be working with him. I love my dress and I'm excited to show you guys. So yeah, with no further ado, I think that's a good intro summary. Tomorrow is gonna go really, really fast and so I'm gonna try try to get everything um I'm gonna try to like fit everything into this into a coherent way but by the end of this vlog you will have well you would have gone to Venice Film Festival with me but won't that be fun hey guys it's like 7 a.m super tired i woke up at like 1 and went back to sleep at like 5 30 after going to bed at maybe 11. i don't know why i don't know if it's because i have a lot going on i don't know if it's because of venice but i haven't been able to sleep very well the last few weeks hopefully now that venice is off my plate and that venice was a pretty big thing on my plate i'll be able to sleep after this but oh my gosh up until now no sleep so I have about 40 minutes to do a quick makeup look, uh, fix my hair, which I'm just going to like wash it real quick because I want it, I think I have a few, I think I still have a bit of purple toner in my hair and I just want to try to get that white. So yeah, do my hair real quick, do my makeup, drink some coffee, use the bathroom and leave. This is 
is probably one of the coolest parts of the Venice experience. I mean, look at this. Even exactly, the boat is also really cool. And you just get to sit back and enjoy. Enjoy. Take a cute, a couple cute Instagram pics. Have the wind in your hair. <laughs> it is. It is definitely the thing that exactly. It makes you feel like a chef kiss star. later Heels off, feet up, <laughs> relaxing. Uh, I just got to the room and I ordered lunch to come up to the room because basically since we were here last year with Karistas, me and Lily learned some things. And so last year it was so funny because since we didn't know what to expect, we were just going with the flow. There was no conception of time. But I already told you guys that when you're at Venice, there is no time. So when we came, we went con calma to eat lunch downstairs, you know, primo, secondo, dolce, cafe, vino. And we took forever at lunch and then our bags took forever to come up to the room and so we ended up having like very little time to actually produce content and get ready this year we learned so first of all we took our bags up ourselves second of all uh, we're eating in the room and we're getting ready we're gonna start getting ready like right now I am going to hop into the shower and then I'm going to start getting ready uh, we are staying at the Excelsior, which is insane because it is one of the most prestigious hotels in Venice and it's just gorgeous. I mean, you guys look at this room. Let me, let me give you a little tour of my room at the Excelsior. <laughs> This is 
different from last year. Wow. 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 Ready to be a star. Love you, Care Stars. I love this. I, I love this. Oh my gosh. Let's go to the bathroom. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Here's our lunch. Our lunch just came in. As I said, last year we wasted a bit too much time in the restaurant stuffing our faces. So this year we decided to order, just order directly up to the room so we can have it as quickly as possible. And my lunch is pasta and pesto. And that is Gabriele's. So we're just gonna eat real quick and then let the games begin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, shower done. I'm about to do my makeup. As you can see, the squad is assembling. The team is assembling. We've got Demi, stylist Demi, We're putting the last finishing touches on the dress. We've got um photographer slash assistant slash manager slash agent substitute of Federica for just today. Yes. Gabriele. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and um, we're getting ready for our red carpet looks. So now I'm going to answer. get ready and answer all of your questions. And while I think that there's a, 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 some slight shade <laughs> under under this question, I, I don't think it's so I don't think the answer is so out there or so evil. Very simply put, the festival is sponsored by different brands and different entities and you know I think that instead of sending the actual owners and CEOs of these entities who would just be all old rich white men uh, they have different types of brand ambassadors they have different types of people to represent them and you know historically speaking these would be your I will say traditional celebrities and um, they would send them on their behalf and then over time that kind of evolved so the way we are the, the way it is today is some brands will send you know their traditional celebrities other brands will send you know less traditional celebrities we're looking at like the reality tv stars and then some other brands i think the more avant-garde brands will send influencers and content creators such as myself and you know i think it's really cool of course i'm biased but i think it's it's the influencer world is a lot more democratized with respect to others so you're a lot you're able to get far more perspectives and representation if you go the influencer route uh, because influencers are followed because of their well, not always, <laughs> but they're usually a wider pool of talent that represent wider arguments. If we keep Venice Film Festival just um, closed off to the film industry insiders and the traditional celebrities, a lot of these arguments and uh, causes that we say we want to see more of and we say we want to see more representation of at these kinds of things would basically never be seen. So that is a really long convoluted answer as to why do they invite influencers? And I kind of already answered this with the, you know, brands that sponsor the event and then invite their, uh, their own guests. Um, the festival also invites their own guests, if I'm not wrong. And some people may have a plus one. Other than the red carpet, so oltre al, al sfilato, uh, sfilata, 
people watch the film you know they watch the film and they participate in the festival in that way they may also take a part of different ceremonies that there are because there are different events during the day um it's not just the red carpet at night but also um there are some stuff that happen during the day that i don't know about because i haven't attended one of those events just yet no not always i would say i don't know anybody that has been paid i mean i don't know if i'm supposed to say all of this but i'm going to anyways because might as well be transparent um i'm not paid i'm paid with the experience <laughs> i'm paid with the uh the ability to be here and i think what it is is venice is a huge source of advertising not just for the brands not just for the festival itself but also for us content creators and influencers like it's a thing to be seen on the venice um, film Fest festival red carpet so it's in my best interest to go even if it's not paid and anyways it's not like um this this experience doesn't cost because you're gonna ha ha spend hundreds of euros on the train ticket to get here then there's the room um there's the food the, everything that adds up it does end up being a pretty like decent cost and so you're paid in the experience if that makes any sense uh i'm sure there might be somebody out there that's paid but i would say that most of us aren't we're paid by the experience and the opportunity to shamelessly self-advertise well based on um the same logic that i answered the first question i have nothing against that i think that makes total sense if you the whole point is to, uh, at the venice film festival or at least not the whole point but a big point is to represent yourself and occasionally also send a message so you want to be represented by the best possible representation um and meet the widest range of people as well and right now influencers tiktokers content creators youtubers these are the kind of people that are helping to do that i mean i'm not a professional film critic i don't have a degree in uh film critique so I can tell you guys what I think, but it, you should take it with a grain of salt. I don't know anything. Tonight I'm watching uh, America Latina. Uh, and I'm actually pretty excited because I'm a huge Elio Germano fan. And I've been for a really long time since I saw Un Mio Fratello e Un Figlio Unico in high school Italian class. And so I'm really excited to see him in this. And also the Innocenzo brothers, I think I'm pronouncing that right, yeah. uh, are pretty like known and famous so i'm excited for this film so there's actually a website which i'm going to link to buy tickets apparently it's really not intuitive but as like normal <laughs> the, the 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 public the event is open to the public so you just have to book the tickets online and then get here and come let's see i know they biglietti specifici per i studenti io non so molto su questi perché non non conosco nessuno che l'ha fatto ecco però so che è possibile it depends like if you're coming as a brand sponsor i have to say on our end the brand picks up most of the tab like they pick up the transportation and our stay here we just have to uh figure out everything else like what we're wearing um principally what we're wearing yeah <laughs> and uh everything else is pretty much come covered by the brand sometimes you'll get a plus one like with Caristas, they gave me a plus one last year and they gave me a plus one this year and um that's me <laughs> uh but uh last week with moet i didn't have a plus one so it really depends if you're really rich if you're a huge star you can bring your team with you um i'm not there yet i'm not yeah. there yet but one day it is my job to create advertisement and to advertise so in this case my payment is you know them bringing me here so i don't pay anything to come here um but the general public would pay the price of the ticket or the event that they're going to see and i don't remember how much the tickets to the movies cost but i don't think they're that expensive i'll include that as well well i think it depends but honestly i don't think venice film festival really needs free advertising everybody already knows what it is um, even if you don't know, even if you're not a huge film person, which I wasn't, I still knew what it was. So, um, I would like to think that yes, people are invited for the content that they make. Whether that content is beautiful and aesthetically pleasing, or it's inspirational, or you stand for a specific cause. I think, yeah, that's 
and the point. Okay, coming on to the last questions actually. I answered most of this, but I didn't answer the part about the outfits. Um, last year when I came, since I didn't know anybody, I didn't have any connections, I didn't know how this whole thing worked, I uh, didn't really have anything gifted. My dress, I bought it on Ukes. It was like 300 euros, which is actually a lot for a dress when you're a nobody like me. Um, so I bought it on Ukes and then like accessories and stuff were loaned from my friends or some stuff was loaned from brands. Now that I'm a little bit bigger, I know a bit more about what I'm doing. Um, the a lot of my stuff is is uh, loaned, which is generally how these kinds of things works, you guys. Like even if you're thinking about like Fashion Week or other events like this, most of the time stuff is uh, loaned, which honestly is better because it's better than going out buying the thing, wearing it once, and then it just sitting in your closet or ending up in a landfill. I think. Uh, so yeah sustainable exactly uh, the for the most part things are loaned sometimes gifted like my dress of tonight since it was custom made it's gifted and I'm gonna keep it but most of the stuff I would say 90% of the stuff is on loan I have to say that at least for a content creator like I said before it positions you at a certain level like you have a whole new set of legitimacy and I have to say that um, the year after I did Venice, oh nice, the year after I did Venice, like the kinds of jobs that were coming in, other than the fact that yeah, more jobs came in, but the kinds of jobs were a lot more like high end and high position. So I think the biggest pro as a content creator is that you um, get positioned really well. It's easier said than done because of course there's a huge demand to get these tickets. It, the second that they go on sale, like things sell out really quickly. So it's definitely something that you have to be prepared for and put effort into and it's not like guaranteed, but literally you go on this website, you buy the tickets and then you come. So it actually looks like I responded to just about all of the questions and look at that. It only took me the amount of time that I needed for to make my eyebrows. <laughs> so now I'm gonna actually focus and do my makeup and we will get back once the look is finished. This is the red carpet look. You can't see it that well because the light in these hotel rooms are always a bit <laughs> ancient. Okay, that's why, that's why, what the excel Oh, here we go. So this is the red carpet dress, red carpet shoes, red carpet makeup. And now, just a mere 12 hours after we started this vlog, it is time to head down to the red carpet. And now we are walking towards the much awaited red carpet. Ah! Okay.
mission accomplished. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, um, film finito. I think intense is the right adjective. Uh, beautiful, it was beautiful to see. Um, next year. Just got back from dinner. Another Venice Film Festival down, and I'd say it was a success. So there we have it, Venice Film Festival. We did it. You guys saw everything that goes on behind the scenes, and I hope I answered all your questions. I don't have a full review of the film because uh, I didn't really get it. I mean, I got it. I got what they were going for. But what I'm saying is I recognize the genius and I also recognize that I, again, wasn't really in target. The direction, amazing. The photography, amazing. The actors, amazing. The, co the costuming, amazing. But just like the story and, yeah, the story and the plot, mm, cool, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I still love Elio Germano and you guys are right that Enrico looks similar to him and now I have my confirmation we have our confirmation that Enrico would look good if he shaved his head because uh, as an engineer a good engineer he's slowly losing his hair and we always talk about this thing like one day you might have to shave off all your head Enrico but how will you look how will you look we now know he will look like Elio Germano um yeah so that was it we did Venice I am now going to, I don't even want to wash my face because I love my makeup, but I'm going to wash my face and then I'm going to edit the content for tomorrow and at 10 we'll be back on the boat, back to Milan, back to the crazy life of Milan. I hope that you guys liked this vlog and I hope you guys liked coming along with us on this little adventure. We'll see if we're able to come back again next year. I hope so because I love it. I have a lot of fun. Um, thanks again to Moet and Kerastase for bringing me along. I had a blast. As always, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.